Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some updates about things we've talked about recently. I'm also going to be giving you some information about a variety of things. Um, I actually have to have notes in front of me today to remember all the different things that I wanted to talk to you about. So let's start with the elephant in the room. My hair is um, still wet because I washed it. I don't like to dry my hair with a blow dryer unless I absolutely have to because number one, it's damaging, and number two, I don't like the way that it comes out when I use a blow dryer on it. Um, I have a lot of natural wave in my hair, and I like to keep that when I blow dry my hair, all the wave comes out. So on the subject of hair, I wanted to tell you something that we will find out the results of tomorrow um, because my hair is not completely dry yet. But have you ever used a shampoo and conditioner that you like and then all of a sudden it didn't work the same way that it used to? Well, your hair doesn't like it when you use the same shampoo and conditioner time after time after time. It's almost like it just becomes immune to the properties of whatever it's supposed to do. So I noticed that my hair was looking kind of bad lately, and I was like, well, why? And I figured out that's what it was. So what I like to do is keep another shampoo and conditioner in the house, and then when my hair stops responding to the one that I normally use, I switch to the other one. And then usually it will like come back to life again, if that makes any sense. So tell me in the comment section if you've had a similar experience. So today I used different products than what I would normally use. And uh, I guess we'll find out when my hair is completely dry tomorrow what the end result was. But yeah, um, so I can't wait to see the result of that. But I just was wondering if you've had a similar experience. Now the next thing I want to talk to you about is this shirt that I am wearing. How cute is that? Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I got it at Walmart, of course. I buy most of my clothes at Walmart. Um, the brand is Celebration, and when you first walk in the door at Walmart, um, if at your Walmart, the clothing section is when you first walk in, um, it's in the you know the first thing you see they have racks of halloween themed shirts and i just thought this was so cute and i don't think it was expensive i don't remember if it was 5 or 7 750 maybe somewhere in that range it wasn't expensive but i just thought this was so cute i grabbed it so i wanted to mention that and then um Speaking of Walmart, I also wanted to mention that my all-time favorite Halloween um, special is at Walmart right now. It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. I've been watching this every Halloween my whole life, but I never had the DVD. They used to just show it on regular TV every year, and I don't think they do that anymore. So I picked this up because... I wanted to be able to see it again, and it says Remastered Deluxe Edition, and uh, my husband and I watched this over the weekend, and it's just so cute. I mean, how can you not love this? When it comes to Halloween things, I don't like things that are too, too scary, like I'm not into like slasher movies or serial killers or things like that. I like things that have some heart to them, and this has got so much heart because poor Linus is waiting for the great pumpkin and of course we all know what happens but um that's what I really liked about uh Nightmare Before Christmas too is you know the end I'm not going to spoil it for anybody that's never seen it but the end of this is just very um you know it's got heart we'll put it that way so anyways I've got that now so I have all my favorite uh, Halloween specials on DVD now, which is cool. And, uh, all right, so let's, oh, that leads me to the next thing. Speaking of Charlie Brown and Peanuts, there is a Halloween makeup 
themed collection out at Walgreens with that um, and it's the it's a peanuts collection okay I have been to so many Walgreens and I haven't found it yet but I just read online over the weekend they said it was coming in September so yeah it's September now I mean today is the third so I think I was just too soon trying to find that before um, but if you have a Walgreens near you and you want to check it out um, that should be coming to Walgreens any day now I'm gonna start looking again now that I know that I was supposed to be waiting till September because from what I have seen there are some really interesting looking products in that collection so I'll be on the lookout for that and um, if I find it I'm gonna pick up a few things uh, somebody left a comment about um, a um, video of showing some of the products from one of the collections that came out I can no longer buy every single piece from every single collection that comes out it's just too much and I really appreciate those of you who have donated money to my channel because that definitely helps with you know trying to pay for everything but it's just too too much so to the person that left the comment that asked me um, to buy more from a certain collection I can't do that I just try to pick out a few things from each one and then move on from there because every time you turn around something else is coming out but I think once I find the profusion one I think that's going to be it because the ones that I've gotten so far are my favorite Halloween brand collections that come out Wet n Wild released two collections and then Nick's released a collection Lottie London and now Profusion and that's probably going to be it because um, those are the ones that I enjoy the most every year that come out at Halloween time. So that leads me to the next thing that I want to talk about. Some of the items that I bought that I've already shown you, I've got some follow-up information on those things. Uh, let's start with... Um, let's start with wet and wild okay the contour and highlighter stick now that I've used this a few times I would say that you know if I had to do over again I probably wouldn't have gotten this this was from the nightmare before Christmas collection that they released only because the formula is quite thick and not that easy to blend so I don't want to have to struggle with anything that I use makeup wise so Starting today, I went back to using my NYX Butter Melt Bronzer because you don't have to struggle with that. It really does just melt into your skin. So I kind of regret having gotten this. It's really cute, but yeah, I don't... It, it's just too hard to blend. And then I did, on a positive note though, the Wet n Wild uh, Lip and Cheek product that they released... Uh, this is in Barrel of Scares, and it's like a purple berry color. Um, I had bought a Wet n Wild cheap and Cheek and Lip product not too, too long ago, and I ended up only using it for one thing instead of both, and this seems to work fine for either one. However, I'm wearing this today on my cheeks and my lips, and I had already tried it before on my cheeks, and I knew that I liked it. Um, but today I used it for the first time on my lips and I like to condition my lips before I ever go in with anything and I'm glad that I did because I could kind of tell from this that if I hadn't done that it might not have worked out well but it worked out fine because I started with my lip oil, waited, did my face makeup, then went in with this so just make sure that your lips don't have like any dry spots on them or anything you know condition your lips then do your makeup then go back at with this at the end and use it but this is the color it's like a purpley berry color so sometimes you know you see something like this and you think oh you know that's too intense I wouldn't want it to be that color but this is this is the color that you get which is nice of course it also depends on what color your lips are with lip products but I do like this and I do recommend this product so there's that and um, 
Now let's move on to updates on the Lottie London products that I bought. I've used the makeup sponge a couple of times now and I do really like the way this performs and after I wash it it cleans very well. You know how sometimes with makeup sponges they stain and then no matter what you do you can't get them clean. I did not have that issue with this so this is a win and I would recommend this. Somebody asked me what was the point of it changing colors when you clean it because uh, when you immerse it in warm or hot water it turns pink. It's just for fun. It doesn't really have any purpose. It's just something different that's kind of fun. That's all it is. So I wanted to respond to that. Now on a negative note, I bought the um, Lottie London and Harley Quinn Rollerball pH color changing lip oils. These sting. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting that because if you remember in the video, I already had a lip product on so I couldn't test these out. So I had just put swatches on my arm so I didn't know what to expect. But I guess these must be also a lip plumping type situation because I used, which one did I use? I think I used the pink one over the weekend. And yeah, I put it on my lips and I was like, whoa, whoa, because <laughs> it doesn't say anything about lip plumping on here. But yeah, it stung my lips, but it did look really pretty. I'll give it that. And it was moisturizing. So if you are not a fan of lip plumping products, um, I would say avoid these. But because they're, I do buy them occasionally because I like a variety of things in my collection. But yeah, if I had realized that they were lip plumping, I don't think I would have bought both of them. I would have probably just bought one to try. So I haven't used the black one yet, um, but they are supposed to be color changing. And um, so this one, it it wasn't a crazy color change. It was more of a slightly deeper shade. So I'm kind of curious to how this one is going to be, but this was pretty, but yeah, just beware that they do sting. Uh, so I wanted to let you know about that because I hadn't, wasn't able to use the lip product in the video that I featured those Lottie London products in. Um, so that's it, you guys. Uh, I think that's everything. Let me just quickly check my list. Yep, I hit upon everything I wanted to talk about. So that is all the updates for today and tomorrow we'll find out how this worked out. I can kind of tell already as my hair has been drying uh, since I got out of the shower, I can kind of tell that I made the right decision about switching up the shampoo and conditioner. And by the way, if just in case you're curious about what products I was using before and which ones I'm using now, before I was using Native brand shampoo and conditioner and now I have switched back to what I used to use before that. Um, the shampoo is Pantene and the conditioner is, I think it's Herbal Essence, but let me go check. I'll be right back. Yes, that's correct. So it's Pantene Body, no, Pantene Volume and Herbal Essence Body Envy. Uh, that's what I switched to and I'll probably stick with this for a while if it works out and then when that stops responding the way I want it to then switch back to the native and yeah it's it's funny how that works so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing and you know what to do it helps my channel when you do and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye